In the last 10 years, OLED technology has gained global popularity and saw numerous improvements. It provides for using LEDs made of for organic semiconductors. The prerequisite for such a tendency was electroluminescence of organic materials discovered by the French scientist Andre Bernanos and his team in the early 1950s. They applied high voltage alternate current to transparent thin films of acridine orange dye. Queen of crime. In 1960, researchers from Dow Chemical developed AC controlled electroluminescent cells using doped anthracene. Low electrical conductivity of such materials limited the technology development. Researchers had to use high voltage sources until modern organic materials such as polyacetylene and polypropylene and polypyrrole have become available. In 1963, they published a number of articles reporting that scientists observed a high conductivity in iodine doped polypyrrole. They managed to achieve the conductivity of siemens of one siemens per centimeter. Unfortunately, this achievement was lost. Studies were resumed only in 1974. Scientists examined a high stable switch based on melanin of high conductivity in the active state. This material emitted a flash of light when it was switched on. Electroluminescence in polymer films was first discovered by Roger Partridge at the National Physical Laboratory in the UK. The device consisted of a polyvinyl carbazole film of 2 micrometers located between two injecting electrodes. In 1987, professors Chin W. Tang and Stephen Van Slyke created the first organic LED in Eastman Kodak. This device was a two-layer structure with individual hole and electron tunneling channels designed in such a way that light was recombined and emitted in the middle of the organic layer. This reduced the operating voltage and improved performance. Actually, this was the first step forward to OLED Epoch, OLED studies and commercial production of 